Oh, hi there. It is Lissy, and it is Sunday, February 22nd. And um, I thought today I would just do a little chit chat update on what I've been doing. And um, also, I bought some new spring makeup at Neiman Marcus yesterday, so I thought I'd fill you in on that. So, okay, so first of all, let's see what's been happening. I'm hoping, I know I've been complaining, complaining about the snow. Um, we've been getting still little dribs and drabs. We got a few inches Thursday. We got a little bit last night, which turned to rain, um, which means it's getting warmer, thankfully. And I'm just hoping we're at the end of the real snow. Um, so I'm feeling optimistic. And so I optimistically have been buying spring makeup. Um, let's see what else. My friend Sandy was in town from Vermont. Her week, her birthday was last week, so we celebrated with her this weekend. We had fun. We went um, to dinner Friday night at this restaurant, Duav, um, which is a really nice, like the space is beautiful. The food is delicious. We had a really nice table. They were late seating us, but um, once they did, we were really happy to be there. And then yesterday, oh, I got my hair done. So I'm freshly blondified, cut and all that. And so here's a question for you. What are we thinking of the bangs growing out? You know, I started growing them out, I don't know, a few months ago, probably three or four haircuts ago. Um, and I'm trying to decide if I should just go back to the blunt bang or not. I mean, I kind of like it, but I kind of really like my blunt bang. So let me know what you think. Um, so anyway, I had my hair done yesterday morning. I met up with Sandy for a quick lunch, my friend from Vermont, and then we went over to Neiman's. And um, so I'm going to show you, like, I bought a whole bunch of stuff. So first of all, I went to, um, I had my makeup done at the um, Laura Mercier counter. There's this lovely gal there. Oh, God, I think her name is, I think it's Danielle. Why do I think that is her name? Anyway, um, she actually shaped my brows. I think she did a really nice job. And then um, she did some nice spring makeup on me. And you know, what I like sometimes about doing that is that you get colors you wouldn't choose. I mean, she was really good because she would ask questions about, like, what are the steps you'll do? You know, she wants you to do things that you're comfortable doing. Like, for example, my friend Sandy is much more minimalistic when it comes to her makeup routine, and I am maximalistic. Like, I'll do 32 different steps. Um, so anyway, so she put this really pretty palette on me. Let's see if I can tell you what it's called. It is uh, the Watercolor Mist Eye and Cheek Palette by Trish McAvoy. Um, it's very it's shiny, as you can see. Oh, somebody asked me recently. These are re these are reading glasses. I have a prescription readers, and I bought these at um, C Eyewear on Newberry Street. So I actually um, I had laser eye surgery. Many my vision was so bad, like most of my life, and I had laser eye surgery probably a good eight years ago. And so my vision is still like 2020 in this eye and maybe 2025 in the other eye. But you know, as you get older, irrespective of whether or not you have 2020 vision, sometimes you need reading glasses, especially when writing is small or it's dark or whatever. But anyway, so this is the Trish McAvoy watercolor eye and cheek palette. Not Trish McAvoy, Laura Mercier. And it's really pretty, like, you know, normally I wouldn't veer towards these kind of blues and greens. But she put these, um, she put these pretty, I think she put these blues on my eyes down here yesterday, like subtly, like just a little bit, like, you know, kind of in the corner and, and to line a little bit. And then she used, you know, on the camera, the, the, the these are pinker than they look, um, but anyway, she used these in my crease and then also for blush. Um, so this is a really pretty palette, and I'll link it so you can look at it and maybe see the colors better, more true than what they're kind of showing up on my little camera here. Um, so I got that, and then I also got, um, 
you know, not that I needed this, but I'm just a sucker when it comes to these kinds of things. I also got um, the Laura Mercier um, the 04 bronzer and then the Highlight 01. So here's the highlight. And it's very, like, subtly, like, very subtle shimmer. And, you know, I love to be glowy, so I love to put, like, the highlight here. She actually said you should highlight everything, like, all the areas kind of that, I don't know what the right word is, but that kind of protrudes. So she highlighted here, you know, here. Um, she also actually used the highlighter as an overall, like, kind of shadow, like, over the eye before she put on the other colors. Um... And then this is the bronzer, which is a very nice. And these are like, there's a lot, like these are big. There's a lot in these um, compacts. And then I bought, you now these lipsticks, these are new, the newest of the kind of Laura Mercier lipsticks. Let me see if I can tell you what this is. Of course, I cannot read this. I will have to. I'll look it up and put the link in the information box. But these are like semi-matte lipsticks, but they're, you know, in these kind of, like you apply it with one of these things. Um, these stay on like all day. Like, so Alicia, my friend, you know, my friend that works at Neiman's, she told me she got a couple of these and one night her husband was like, honey, why didn't you take off your makeup? She was like, I did. He's like, you still have lipstick on. He's like, you always take off your makeup. She was like, I could not get it off. Like this stuff stays. Um, so I'll, I'll put the notes about what this is if you want to check it out. Um, but I tried a couple of them and I ended up, I'm into this, like, you know, often I either wear a really bright or I wear like a kind of a more nude and um, I feel like for spring, like a nice, this is not what's on my lips, but a night, like I'm into this kind of light pink that has a little color, but isn't like shocking. Um, so I bought this. I'll tell you when I can find out what color it is. What is on my lips is, oh, here. I bought this Chanel lipstick 426. The name of it is R-O-U-S-S-Y. I don't know what that means. I mean, I don't know exactly how to say that, but this is what's on my lips. Really pretty. Um, and then I also bought an Yves Saint Laurent lipstick. Here it is. And this one is like a little brighter, I think, like darker than what I have on. This is the Rouge Voluptue in... Maybe it's number nine. Again, I'll I'll write it in the information box so you know what it is. But it's really pretty. Um, really pretty pink. Um, and then, oh, I got one other thing at Neiman's yesterday. So, you know, because Alicia works at Neiman's, she, um, she tries everything, you know. And she really has a good idea of like what she likes and what she doesn't and what works and what doesn't. And because she's not beholden to one particular brand, um, you know, you get, you can get an unbiased, um, like opinion from her. So she had said she tried these Cla de Peau, um, beauty, these, um, like moisturizing masks. So that's what this is. And basically what it is, is you, Hold on, let me open it and show you. I haven't done it yet. So you could, this is one. It was $30. You can buy one or you can buy them in like packs of six. But I like that they do one because then you can try it and see if you like it. Um, but she loved it. So basically there's like, there's the, there are these, so first you put on this lotion like all over your face. Then you do this number two all over. And then there's the mask in here, which apparently is in two pieces. You know, one kind of goes onto your forehead and one goes onto the rest of your face. And you just sit with it on for half an hour or whatever. And you take it off. And then some of the kind of, you know, moisturizer is still on. You just further rub it in. And she just loved it. So I am looking forward to trying this. Um, and I'll keep you posted. 
but like I I get so much dryness like especially like in the winter like on my forehead and right in between the brows and like actually my skin feels pretty decent right now I just moisturize but um you know in the cheeks and in the chin like I get so much redness so I'm looking forward to trying that um oh and then the other thing I wanted to show you so I went to CVS today and again because I like even though it's um, well, it's probably like 35 or 40 degrees out, which is quite warm, um, given what we've been dealing with. Not, this is, will not last long. We're getting back to frigid temperatures, but I'm feeling spring. So I got this SA, SA nail polish in, um, cute as a button. So that is what I have on my nails right now. Um, and then... I do think there was something else I wanted to tell you. I should write this stuff down. I really should. Um, oh, yeah. The other thing I did yesterday, briefly, I have this, um, I have so much beautiful Chanel jewelry. But the one thing I will say, certain pieces have a tendency, you know, just sometimes, like, they're delicate. And I'm not gentle on my jewelry. So I had taken one of my, like, I love this necklace. It is so beautiful. I had taken it for repair because a couple of the pearls had come out. And, you know, when you send stuff to Chanel to be repaired, it takes forever. I just want you to know, I sent this to them. I think. Well, let me tell you, this is the second time. I sent it to them in, like, September. I think I got it back, like, November. And then some of the pearls came out again. So I sent it back again. And, like, you know, it's like... The, the folks over there, they take like, like, I think they didn't even work the month of January. And I was mad because I'm like, I just got it back and things are falling out again and you pay so much money for this. So they rushed it. But anyway, I brought it back like, the, you know, before Christmas and I just got it back. So it's this gorgeous, um, look at this, like, look at how beautiful, this is where the pearls fell out. Like how gorgeous is this? Like it's this long, you know, like, see, it's really long, beautiful. Like one of my very favorite necklaces, but it's like I have to treat it very gingerly because these these pearls right here have a tendency to fall out. Um, and I used to have a place in Boston. There's this lovely jewelry store on Newbury Street called Small Pleasures. Beautiful vintage jewelry, if you like that. Um, and lots of custom, you know, lots of like art deco, like just really neat, um, unique pieces. Um, but they used to have somebody they could send costume jewelry to for repair and they no longer have somebody like, I guess the person was like, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. It's too much work. And, um, so anyway, they don't have anybody to send this stuff to anymore. So, and I would often do it and just pay for it because sending it to Chanel takes so long. But anyway, so now I'm back to taking the stuff to Chanel to be fixed until we find someone else. But so I did that. Um, and then that's it, I guess. Last night we went out to Herbaluche, which I think I've mentioned before. It's one of my favorite restaurants in Boston. We had a really good dinner. Oh God, did we whoop it up? The three of us, Alicia, Sandy, and I, we bellied up at the bar. We celebrated Sandy's birthday. You know, too much wine, too much food. Oh, I'm off the carbs. Although last night I was not off the carbs. But, um, so for the last week I've pretty much been off the carbs. I've been really good about my exercise routine. I lost like five pounds last week. So I'm going to keep it up. Um, this is what I've done. Like I see a trainer and, you know, she gives me all this advice and nothing really was working, even though I've been working out and I feel like I've been eating well. And she knew that a long time ago I had done the no carb thing. And she was like, well, if it worked for you before, maybe you want to try it again. So I dug out like my old notebook, like I, where I literally wrote everything down that I ate when I did that. And so I reinvigorated that this past week. So five pounds down. Um, I'd like to lose another, you know, 10 or 15, but I'd be happy with another five. Um, anyway, so that's that. And I think I may do a part two of my handbag video today. Um, so you'll see the same get up. Not that I'm really getting up to show you because it's nothing exciting. I'm just home doing nothing today. Um, but anyway, so that's that. I hope you've had a great weekend and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.